know after the hour. I was trying to enjoy the elevator music! And so it continues. Is that you behind my back, Mitzi? Miss Ashworth, I thought... I thought you were dead. I saw that man hit you right in the head. Me? Dead? No. No, I'm a tough old girl. You can't kill me that easily. Stop asking stupid questions. We have no time for that. Let's calm down, yeah? Yeah, okay. I can do that. What's this? Duct tape? Yeah, he had loads of that stuff. Maybe we can break this tape if we pull really hard? It won't hurt to try. Well, technically it will. It'll pull your skin. feel very uncomfortable. It's pointless. We're completely wrapped in this damn tape. We're cocoons. Stuck in a web. Waiting to be eaten. But where's the spider? He's gonna play with us first, isn't he? Pull yourself together. And stop talking shit. I can't think properly. Hmm. So, uh... Did he hurt you? Did he hurt you? That bastard packs a hell of a punch. I've got a bit of a headache, but I think I'm alright. What about you, Mrs. A? Me? Fresh as a daisy. But I'll feel better after we've dealt with this unpleasant guest of ours. Do you think he's going to... rape us? No, he is not. Don't worry, I'll figure something out. Let's just wait for him to come back. Sooner or later they always make a mistake. Miss A, I'm sorry I had upset you. I shouldn't have pushed you so hard. And I'm sorry about the mug, too. It's all right. Water under the bridge. Uh, you got any ideas? So, uh, any ideas? Not that many, really. None at all, actually. I'm sorry. And you? What do you think we should do? We should kill the fucker. With what? We're tied up. Are you going to headbutt him to death? I will, if there's no other way. Come on, there's got to be something more sensible we can do. I'm not gonna die here. Not like this. No, you're not gonna die, don't worry. So, uh, how about those lockpicks you always carry? How about those lockpicks that you always carry with you? You know, the ones you got from your dad and used to break into this place? But we aren't locked in a room, are we? We're wrapped in duct tape in case you forgot. How is a lockpick gonna help here? I don't know. It's probably sharp. You could use it to cut this tape. Well, even if that was the case, I can't reach it anyway. So let's forget the lockpicks and think of something else, all right? All right, all right. Calm down, calm down. Use a sharp knife to cut the tape. Or we could pull the pipe off. That sounds dangerous. Use the knife. Let's use the sharp knife to cut the tape, then, shall we? What? You've got a knife? Yeah, but I'm sorry. I just remembered. I can't reach God it. God damn it. So let's forget the knife and think of something else, yeah? Oh, you are a nasty piece of work, Miss A. I really believed you had a knife. You shouldn't joke about it, you know. It's cruel. It wasn't a joke. I lied to you. And you lied about the lockpicks, didn't you? You don't really have them. Who are you to call me a liar? I can't reach the damn lockpicks. It's the truth. Really? Yes, but clearly my word isn't enough. You know what? I'll show you when this is over. If we're not chopped into little pieces, packed in plastic shopping bags and dumped in the trash, that is. Maybe it won't come to that. He might just throw our bodies in the river, or bury them in the woods. Maybe there won't be any shopping. Always an optimist. True friends. Hey, want to pull a pipe off the wall? We're probably not getting hurt by doing that, but it's worth a shot. Maybe together we can pull this pipe off the wall? How is that exactly going to help us? Stop asking stupid questions and pull with me. 
hold that. Okay. Hold more. Good job. We're having a shower together. Great. That's just what we needed. A cold shower. I used to like... But what? Well, I guess it's a life or death situation, so such things come to pass. Yeah, that's fine. Flowers. I used to like flowers, you know. Like everyone else. Or even more. There was this guy. I should have told him from the start I wasn't interested. But I didn't. Maybe I was interested. In a way, probably. Flattered would be a better word. It was ten years ago. I can hardly even remember him now. He did that thing every week. Because he knew Eric was at work, and I was in the flat, alone. So, every Friday night, I'd get flowers delivered by a courier. Who's Eric? Your partner? My husband. He was a taxi driver. Worked every weekend. And I was still on maternity leave. Zoe, our little daughter, was only six months old at the time. Well, five months and twenty-eight days exactly. She would be eleven now. Anyway, that one Friday evening's courier had delivered a big bouquet of the most beautiful lilies. Usually, I would have thrown them away. But I really liked them, somehow. They were extraordinary, absolutely stunning, and looked very expensive. I stood there looking at them, mesmerized. I didn't even hear the phone ring at first, but then I heard it loud and clear, as if I'd woken up from a strange dream, and I knew it was him calling. Whoa, young me. Damn, I don't look too bad. Why is the phone ringing? Answer. Yeah, sure. Answer your phone. Do you like the flowers? <sighs> yeah. They're very pretty. I knew you'd like them. Lilies. They're beautiful, but not nearly as beautiful as you, Susan. Uh, I have a family now. Sorry. I have a family now. I'm sorry, but I can't see you again. We've managed to patch things up with Eric. And there's Zoe. We have to try and make it work. Our daughter needs both her parents. So, yeah. I can't just run away with you. Life's not a film with Julia Roberts, you know? But sometimes doing crazy things can change your life for better. Do you really want to be that woman who in ten years' time realizes that she's wasted the best time of her life living with a man that she never loved? I... Look, I love my husband. I can take care of Zoe. I told you before. I'll be a good father to her, if you want. It doesn't work like that. You don't know anything about children. I'll learn. Give up? Honestly. I could never give up on you, Susan. Come on. Don't be like that. You're breaking my heart. Uh, I... Listen, dude. You sound like a creeper in the first place. You know, just shut up. Get out of here. I have a nice red dress on. My husband is currently working hard trying to make ends meet, bring home the bacon, and you're just sitting there and be like, hey, come on, let's go be freaking Romeo and Juliet, even though it's not even the right words I was trying to say there. Shut up and stop calling here. Oh, shut up. Just shut up, all right? Yeah, okay. I'm sorry, Susan. I got carried away. But please, just think about it. I have time. I'll wait. Listen, I have to go. It's getting late. Wait. Yeah? Answer the phone, won't you? Mm. No. It's 
probably best to just nip the bud before the plant grows into further badness. So negative, sir. Just please move on for fuck's sakes. No, I'm sorry, but this is over. Goodbye and good luck. I guess I should do something about these flowers. I'd really like to keep them. But I don't want Eric to know I have a secret admirer. Okay. We will expose them in the toilet. A read note. It reads, I know one day you will say yes. If I'm going to keep them, I should definitely throw this note away, just in case Eric finds it. Take. We shall do away with these demon flowers. Somehow. Probably throw them off the balcony. Maybe put them in the piano, where they can rot. Play. Oh no, I can't play now. I would. We do. Oh! Zoe! Can I. Can I go see Zoe? Coffee table. Eric brought, bought this coffee table just a few weeks ago in a secondhand furniture shop. We haven't really got a lot of money at the moment. It'll get better when I return to work in a couple of months, I guess. Yeah, I'm sure it will. Just keep at it. Zoe! Hey! Zoe! Hi! I'm, I'm Mom. She's fast asleep now. My baby girl. She looks so cute. Talk to her. I don't want to wake her up. We'll have all day tomorrow just to each other. Okay. Shelf? It's one of those cheap self-assembly units from the supermarket. Okay. Well, um... Have a good sleep, Zoe. Love you. Okay. I can't go that way. Where the hell am I supposed to put flowers? Do I... I don't want to put them on the coffee table, do I? Smell, put down... Ex no. Oh! I guess I could put them in Zoe's room. No. No. Who does that? We're going to the bathroom and we're going to flush them. Or maybe we can put them in the piano. Not on the piano. He noticed straight away. Then he'll keep asking who I got them from. No, there must be a better place for them. All right, I understand. I I understand fully. Okay, we're gonna go in the bathroom. We can't go in the bathroom. We're gonna. Can we go outside? Shit. Well, I guess we do gotta put it somewhere else. Zoe, babe, I uh, borrowing your room to put a uh, secret admirer's flowers in. Now I can tell Eric that Mandy had brought them for Zoe. It seems like a pretty innocent lie. Yeah, it's pretty innocent. I doubt he'll notice anyway. Yeah, but the note, you gotta... I hope you took the note. Just saying. I hope you're dreaming about something nice, my little star. Eric must have come home early. But why? Hang on. I want to go see if we took the note off. It's kind of a big deal. Oh, never mind. I can't check. Either way, let's go see what Eric's all about right now. Eric, darling, love, I hope you got some very nice customers this evening. And none of them tried to mooch off you. Hello. You're back early. Is something wrong? Yeah. Well, let's think about it for a minute. Is something wrong? Yes, Susan, there is. Didn't you watch television? Listen to the radio? Didn't talk to anyone today? What? what happened? I... What? Huh? Eric just... Was there an accident? Was there an accident? Yes, you could call it that. But if a guy walks into a busy restaurant during dinner service and detonates a bomb strapped to his chest, then I think the term terrorist attack is more fitting. There's chaos spreading all through the city. Everyone's panicking. The police and army are everywhere. But you don't even care, do you, Susan? What? I just... I... What? I... Shut up! Of course I care. I had no idea. You should pay more attention to what's happening to this country, Susan. I could have died, and you wouldn't even know. Did you get hurt? 
No, not really. But the cab smashed quite badly. I was just there when it happened. There was smoke. Clouds of dust so thick you couldn't see a fucking thing. So I stop. And all of a sudden some van hits me from the back. I hear my passenger screaming and shouting and there's blood on the rear window. And just then another car drives right into us and we're all stuck in that mess. Nobody knows what's going on. But imagining this might just be the end of the world. But no, it was some geezer with a bloody bomb. They closed all the main streets, in case there's more of them. What time was that? Around 7pm. I spent another two hours trying to get someone to tow the damn cab to the garage. Would you believe? Our insurance doesn't even cover this sort of thing. You should have called me. I did. Four times. You didn't answer. I must have been... Yeah, yeah. You were busy with the baby. Every time it's the same old story. We've still got that wine in the fridge, haven't we? Get some glasses, Susan. I need a drink. Uh, yeah. Just... chill. Alright. I'll get the glasses. You get the wine. But are you sure you don't want to take a shower first? No. I just need a drink. I can wash later. Okay. Well, uh, I hope he's more of a charmer when he's not having a bad day. Just saying, he's... First impression's kind of slackened. Shit. And that's a bad thing. Are you gonna get that? If it's Jerry, tell him I'm not here. I don't want to talk to them tonight. Yeah, sure. I'll, uh, I'll take that. Hello? It's me again. I'm sorry, but I had to hear your voice again. Christ. I love you, Susan. Susan? You still there? Please, say something. Anything. Ah. <sighs> God damn. Ah. Um. Ah. Ah, where's just the fuck you button? That. Thanks, but we're already insured with someone else. I... Excuse me? Susan, it's me. The only thing I'm trying to sell to you is my... Shut up! We won't be needing pet insurance either. What are you talking about? Would you like my husband to talk to you? He's just come home from work. He usually deals with insurance companies. Will you just put the phone down? Once you start talking to them, these insurance bloodsuckers will never leave you alone. Susan, I'm so sorry. Should I hang up? Just hang up, Susan. I like this one because I get mad at him. Have you gone mad? This could have been a disaster. Have you gone mad? This could have been a disaster. How was I supposed to know? Where is he now? In the other room. I can't talk. Just wanted to say... Just wanted to say that you've let me down. I'd never forgive you. Or myself if he found out like this. He didn't. I'll tell you one thing, lover. Yeah? What is it? I've had enough of this. Just leave me alone. I've had enough of this. Just leave me alone. Whoa. You change your game quickly, don't you? Leave me alone, okay? I've got enough problems here. I don't want your love. There's most likely no such thing as love anyway. Bye. Oh, hi. Then the arguing started. It slowly grew into something bigger, something horrible, 
Stupid remarks and old grudges mixed with alcohol turned into some sick exchange of pointless accusations. It wasn't the first time we argued, but it was the last. Just look at the state of this place. It's a mess. Listen, I know you're with Zoe all day, but it's not like she's still a little baby. She's six months already. You'll have to organize your day a bit better and get things done. If other women find time, why can't you? Wow, you're a bit of a cock, aren't you? Just, uh, get off my case, all right? Eric, you're drunk. Get off my case, all right? Look, I understand you've had a very bad day, but it's not my fault that the bomb had gone off and your car was damaged. I'd really like you to calm down now. I'm sure we can sort everything out. We always do. Well, that's what you think. Yeah? And what do you think, Eric? What do I think? So it matters all of a sudden what I think. Well, I'll tell you. Sure. I think you're lazy, Susan. You do nothing all day, while I keep working my ass off to provide for this family. I think you're trying to shift the responsibility on me, like you always did. I think you use the baby as an excuse for everything. And I think you're an asshole. How dare you accuse me of such things? It only takes one look at the flat to see it's all true. Yeah! Yeah, I really don't enjoy your company very much. Just... Shut the fuck up. I'm gonna go freaking check on the baby. Let me go. I have to check on Zoe. I left a window open in her room. She might be cold. Fuck you, by the way. That's right, just walk away. That's all you do, Susan. You can never finish anything. If there's one thing I don't want to finish, it's this stupid conversation. Why not? Are you afraid that I actually might be right? Are you scared of facing the truth? I'm sure Zoe's fine. It's the hottest summer we've had in years. It'll be good for her to have some fresh air in there. Won't you agree? I... I guess. No. Fine. Never mind. I... I really want to go check on that baby at this rate. This just seems not right. But, uh... I'm gonna yell in all caps now. I haven't done anything wrong! Of course not! Because you're fucking perfect, aren't you? That's not what I said. Well, if you're so perfect, yeah? Then why are we here now, fighting? This is all messed up. You're behaving like a five-year-old? What the hell is wrong with you? You, Susan! You always knew which strings to pull. To tip me over the fucking edge! Just friggin... Don't be so friggin nasty, man! Don't be nasty. I'm doing all I can. Are you really? Okay, doing all you can. You obviously care about your husband. Coming home after a hard day's work, he's gonna be hungry. But wait, where's his dinner? Oh, uh, let me guess. You didn't make it because you were too busy changing nappies, and singing, and playing, and washing. Yeah, I think so. And I'm not going to feel guilty about it. If you'd spend more time with our daughter yourself, you'd know how important these things are. So pardon me, there's no dinner for a hard-working husband. From now on, he's gonna have to cook for himself. Because, you know what? The wife is working just as hard, and she's really tired of being treated this way. She better gets used to it, cause this is just the start. There's gonna be some changes around here. I'm fed up of being pushed around by you. I put the bread on our table, don't I? I'm the man in this family! I will make the rules, and I'll get the respect I deserve. You shut the fuck up! Right now! Relationships are of equal standing! I don't give a fuck if you think you're the man of the family just cause you have a dick! Fuck you! She works just as hard! And she has a nice dress! Dick? How can you talk to me like this? Also, that's kinda rude. How can you talk to me like this? You're treating me like dirt. Didn't you forget something? I'm your wife. I'm the mother of your child. 
doesn't that mean anything to you at all? A wife and a mother? Why don't you start acting like one? When was the last time you showed me that you care about me? All you ever talk about is the baby. I love her to bits, I swear I do. But I want to have a wife too. When was the last time you even kissed me? I'm not even talking about sex. Ugh, I knew it. Is that what bothers you so much? Is it? Of course it fucking bothers me. Does it not bother you that we never have time for each other? Look, we are new parents. It's always hard. All couples go through it, I heard. Well, fuck this. I heard different. God damn. This... I... I would like to cease conversation because you are the kind of individual who will not hear very well the other person's thought process. You are only working on your own and you're just like, no, I am right, she's wrong, fuck her, I have really dumb clothes. I'm done talking to you. Of course you are. That's what you always do, isn't it? You run out of arguments, you stop talking to me, then you lock yourself in the bathroom and fucking cry. I'm sick of repeating the same old thing over and over again. Then why won't you give me a break, for God's sake? You're acting like I've done something terrible. I don't even know what your problem is. Is there something you're not telling me, Eric? You'd know if you listened to me. But you never listen to me, do you? Not to a single word I've ever said! Right. Here we go. It's not you. It's the alcohol speaking. I shouldn't be taking any of this seriously. I know that tomorrow you'll be apologizing to me for it. It was just a couple of glasses and you had some too! I'm not drunk! I wish I was. Maybe then I could laugh at this shitty life and not care so much. That's a good one. You really care so much, Eric. You should get a medal or something. I thought you said you weren't gonna talk to me no more. You are full of shit, Susan! Full of shit! Full of shit? Piss off already. Why don't you look at yourself, you idiot? So I'm an idiot now, am I? You're... You keep picking on me for nothing. No, this was coming, and you know it, Susan. If you're so unhappy with me, then what the fuck are you still doing here? Pack your bags and leave me alone. You're throwing me out. This is my fucking flat! I worked my fucking ass off for seven years to buy it! I'm not going anywhere! Dude, I don't know if you know this, but you're a fucking man-child. So just stop it already. Stop it! Stop it, Susan. I've only just started. We should finally say to each other what we really think, right? We didn't even notice that outside the storm had started. I was so absorbed in that stupid fight that I forgot all about the open window. Anyway, and the flowers. Those fucking flowers. Right there, by her bed. She had some rare allergy to pollen, but we couldn't have known that. How were we supposed to know? It's rare. She started coughing and choking. The next time we saw her, when we found her, she, she was. After two days of what seemed like a narcotic dream, Eric had gone out and never came back again. They found him nearly a week later. He drank himself dead in the woods. I nearly didn't recognize him when I saw him in the morgue. It really was a hot summer. He looked... bad. 
Miss Ashworth, I... Thank you for telling me that. Now I understand. I understand why you're so sad all the time. Oh, hi. What do you want from us? Are you deaf? Mitzi, let me handle this. Let us go right now, you moron. Mitzi. Leave her alone. Don't you dare. No! Take me, instead. Take me. Damn it. Hi, again. If you hurt my friend, I. I will. What? What's going on? You're letting me go? Just like that? What? Where's my friend? What have you done to her? Mitzi? Mitzi? No, 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 no! The... Fuck you, man! Okay. You sick son of a bitch. What do you want me to do? I don't understand! What, play the piano? You want me to do the piano? Fine! Mitzi! Mitzi! What are you doing not moving? Fix Mitzi! 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 Pull up! But no, need to find something heavy for her to stand on! What? No, you don't! Table! Chair! Push! Okay, come on! Push it! Okay, Mitzi! Pull up! Get up, Mitzi! Stand still, Mitzi. Okay. I'm gonna be right back with a knife. And I'll cut you down, alright? Okay, Mitzi, don't you fucking die. Alright. all gone somehow. There. They're eating you. This is... I... Don't look, Mitzi. Don't look. God 
Damn. 